you are here because you have a relationship with Sweden. It has been longer or shorter, but it's all about a relation. And I'm both honored and pleased, of course, to, to be here and to meet all of you at this alumni event. Today, we consume media more or less 24-7 on a wide range of, of news sources, uh, most of them on digital platforms, of course. To work with innovation is really about stepping outside, outside your comfort zone, to really challenge yourself to do what is not proven, it's not within your area or industry, it's really to try something completely different. And for me personally, it's about stretching the limit of my uh, ability to what I can do. And if I fail, I need to see failure as a learning process and then try again. I mean, Sweden is a very globalized small country. So that means that the relations that Sweden maintains with people abroad is actually vital for the development of Sweden as well. There has been a, a shift recently uh, with the new liberal labor uh, immigration law in Sweden. So this basically means that anyone that, that has a job offer mm -hmm. can come to Sweden. So these are essentially the three different things that we focus on as an organization. Business development, yeah, I'm not going to go into details what that means. Um, matchmaking is a lot of uh, you know, companies who wants to come over, meet with companies over here, and we can actually set those meetings up, and that's how we work. Uh, we do a lot of event planning, and uh, that's obviously the social aspect of, of our services. I founded the company Umbilical Design 2001 and that was directly after my master degree of industrial design from Lund Institute of Technology and then people told me Cecilia you can't start a space design company in Sweden but I'm happy that I didn't listen so beware of who you listen to. This is actually uh, the planned uh, habitation module for living and working on Mars. What we really like to look into is, I mean, this is really a sustainable and enclosed environment where everything needs to be recycled. They have to grow their own food, so it's like urban agriculture. So we look into how can we transfer this concept of also these uh, really small modules for living and, and working into our growing cities. So this is also a very interesting area to see how can we transfer concepts from, from Mars habitation into our really upcoming extreme environments here on Earth, our mega cities. Taking Sweden and Silicon Valley, and if you partner up, what could you do that you don't see today? How would you create a Silicon Valley, which is in Sweden? And how would it link up? And what would it look like? There are no boxes. Okay. So the first thing that we always think is, okay, if we were to do this, what you know, what can we do within the box? But you know, the real creative people say, what box? Mm -hmm. There is no box. The box is in your head. 